name's Grunda. Hello everybody and welcome back on board. In this episode we are going to make a start on the dinette. So if we do it about 13 shall we? This is going to be the back of the chair, the bit that we see. So the fabric, yeah, do, do it about 13. Do one about 13, then we can do one and then at the seat, seat height. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the seat's going to be about there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that might be. Or for you. <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. That'd be good. I'll get pins and needles if I don't have it low. 13. Centimetres. Are we doing a mixture today? Yeah, Bit just over five inches. Isn't it? Yeah. Five inch and whatever. Three sixteenths. Right. Um, I think I'll just get that square. And then we can work to that corner. Yeah. Yep. Right on. So that sort of comes there up it. to my... Comes up to your... Booby. Yeah. Comes up to your... <laughs> so it's quite low. It's quite low, so... <laughs> It's waist height. <laughs> She's wearing the wonder bra or not. I might spin it on its... on the height of the seat now aren't we yeah now we um, want it we want yeah. it quite high so i think we need to work out the height of the table first and then decide what the uh what yeah. we need between the seat the table and the seat and then there's a raised step to get yeah. on it so there's a mirror. yeah so there's a lot to think about yeah right let's have a think then <laughs> <laughs> right, so you you've rejoined us now, and it's we've had a think, and it's now <laughs> August. It's now August. We've moved on a few months, but there we are. <sighs> it's all in the planning. Right. Right. So the table, the the underneath of the table. Yeah. The underside of the table. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. We said nine. 40. 940. So I'll put a pencil marker feel them. Yeah. 940. 37 inches. Yeah. Yeah. So from our first guess, when we were talking about it first, it's not far off, is it? So. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. then sitting on chairs and working out um, where we'd need it without the cushion because we haven't got the foam yet. Yeah. 
I reckon, well, we think we need about 320 mil. Which is about 13 inches, isn't it? Yeah, 12, 12 and a half, just over 12 and a half. Yeah. That's enough to get your legs under, isn't it? Yeah. 320. Yeah, so the cushion's obviously going to sink a little bit as well when you sit on it. So When I sit on it, it is. It's going to sink a lot. So that then left the so height that's... from the floor should be about 615. Okay, so if we make the seats the seat, that height, if we make this. yeah, if we yeah if we make um, if we put the seat that height, then when we make the step on the floor, yeah, we can adjust that if we feel that that's a little bit for the wrong leg, for the leg height, yeah, foot, from your knee to your foot, yeah. yeah. So I can sit with my feet flat because um, in the motorhome. I always have pins and needles with yeah, so the feet the base, dangling. The base is about there then, the seat base. Yeah. You want to step about there then for your f knees to feet then. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Yeah. But we'll work out the step height when we need it. Once we once make this and the other yeah. ones we can then... Sort yeah. that out. Right, come on, let's get on with it. So this wants to be six, what is it, 6.15? to the height for the seat. Yeah. Six fifteen. I don't know if we work that out, no. that the top of the wood or the bottom of the wood. I think the top. Top. Six fifteen. Okie cokey. Okie cokey, it's okie dokie, isn't it? <laughs> it, is in, it is in the north That's of England. That's what it's all about. It is in the north of England. It might be okie cokey down London, where you come from. Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, face. Bank of England, isn't it? Do the back frame, and I'll do the the seating bit. This is one of four seats, um, and we've been doing bits of each one as we've been going along. Um, slightly different on either side of the cabin. Right next. Next. Right the seat depth. Mm. Um. We've said if we do it at five six five, yeah, the actual wooden structure depth. But once the cushion's on the back, it work at about four thirty. So that's about around about seventeen inch for your to, for your bum to sit on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like really you've, got pit, yeah you've got the pit. You got the seventeen inches up per cheek. <laughs> no, yeah. just no. The depth, oh, not, right. not the width. All oh, right, that's enough then. Yeah, yeah. The width is just determined by the gap that we've got. Mm. So you might have to have one cheek hanging off the side. Okay. I'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a slide out. <laughs> we've got any more of them slidey rails? Yeah, we do use them. We use on the kitchen. Fresh coffee and bagels too A new day is waiting for us We got lots of fun stuff to do Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys 
I can lend him your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Don't it seem like a trap? Like putting all of your joy in a big brown bag. I won't listen to any of that jazz. No, I'll never grow up. All right, so they're the blocks to fasten the legs onto. Not the legs, the well, the, the, the uh, bits that's coming out. The seat yeah. and the legs. Some of this glue. Okay. Fit that trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can? Just wipe some of that glue off there, Lee. Glue aid. Did Bob Gold off do that? <laughs> when people run out of <laughs> Instead of that buy me a coffee lark. Yeah. Buy, buy me some tight bond. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, glue aid. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Screw aid. <laughs> I don't know. Growing up is just a trap. I think we want to put that piece on the front there first. Hmm. Yeah. Or do you want to make the whole, the whole front together and then put, pull it up to it? Or just do the bottom and top. First. I think we should just do the same cross there to get that square and ish. You know what I mean? Hmm. And then we can put that piece across the front. Yeah. To the wall and get it set right, and yeah. then, then we can just lay a piece on the side here and get that angle. Yeah. And mark it. So we're going to put a long piece going all the way across to the wall. Yeah. So it doesn't actually fit. It doesn't fit sort of there. Yeah. It goes right the way up to there, doesn't it? Yeah. Just so um, the cushion is going all the way up there. It hasn't got to take any weight, but we, but we do want. Um, this has all got to take weight, but that end piece hasn't, has it? It's just all... No, it's just um, supporting. Right. So let's have a look at the angle on that. See, see. Slight angle because this bottom is tucked in a bit, isn't it? Yeah, come in. Because we've just got that bit for where your heel was going and stuff, so it's not a flat, flat fronted. Yeah. Like a box. It's not straight. It's not just going back. Yeah. So that when you sit in there, you've got like a little bit. So your legs aren't actually 90 degrees all the time. So and what we've, we've just cut a piece there. So we've got the a uniform height. So we know that this is the right height. Mark that off there, cut those. And then we should have two pieces that go there to there, there to there. Yeah, at an angle. Yeah, but they'll have to have little blocks on the back again, obviously, for the thing to screw into. Yeah. So we're going to cut them now, yeah? Yeah. Okay,
all these extra buttons that we're putting on um, and not just to make it more well, give it more strength it's also as a frame for us to put the cladding on a bit later um, some of the two of the chairs will ha will see the back the other two chairs the back will be up to the kitchen one side So in theory, if we do three that size, we should be right, shouldn't we? Yeah, so on these ones, you're just trying to get an angle at the top and it's flat fair. on the bottom. Yeah. Right, so we need one, two, Look at that right in the way I want the bloody cool up. Should we put them in? sure whether it's going to be a chair or a six-story block of flats <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's yeah. becoming there uh... yeah through the square window right <laughs> A lot of this frame, once it's cladded, will be upholstered um, and this piece on the top, we're going to either upholster that or find some nice wood for a trim at the top, but I think it'll be the, 
upholstery. More than likely upholstery, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Whichever way you'll do, it'd be nice. I reckon, uh, uh, yeah, around about 13. Let's just do a little more then, then we can put this against it and see what we think, shall yeah. we? So if we put that right there, there, and that there, if I clamp that, like that, I'm sure a bit yeah. more there, we should be able to just pencil them like that, yeah? Yeah, and that is about right there. On that there, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, so about 13 centimetres. That's just. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, because, because the cushion will be coming out a little bit further than that, obviously, so you don't hit yourself on. On that. On there, but. We don't want it too far, do we? Forget no. in and out of the seat and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And if we ever want to take the table down and have it as like a long bench seat, um, like a little sofa thing. Yeah. We don't really want too big a you don't want it here, do angle. In no, the that's enough. I think it is, Nanny. Right. X marks the spot, and that's the bottom. square then shouldn't it? Yeah. So. Because on this bit the cushion is going to rest but nothing else really and that we can fix it to the wall from there but it's not taking any weight. Yeah. Shall I just mark this and cut this as well so we can glue, screw it to it? Or... Yeah. Because that can be adjusted if it's a little bit out, you know what I mean? So if I cut that off there square and then attach it to that and then we can attach it to that can't we? Yeah. Right then, I'll just gonna cut that off an inch and then we're back. Oh shit, I've done the bloody drill bit. 
And you've got four mil if you drill a bit left. nice sitting on here just relaxing looking out the hatches I think you could put a bucket in there and you wouldn't even have to move all day that's a good idea <laughs> that is a really really good idea isn't it yeah I don't think we'll put slats in there <laughs> so this is for the um, slats to sit on top I need to cut that out there and like that. Watch it so it comes oh, yeah. up above. Just got a piece of that. <coughs> how, do you know, how do you know how far to come off? Cut it off. Because that's that's going to be the finish high of that. Yeah. So it's the other half. So it needs to come up that much. Which is two thicknesses of that. Mm. So if I do that to there, that should come up high enough to, mm. to come out the top. So. So Hey. You yeah. like that multi tool, don't I you? Love it. the other side now.
You need to paint the pet. Yeah, they're going to be painted. <laughs> Marvellous, Grandad. Marvellous. <laughs> and that'll be Very substantial, Grandad. Substantial. <laughs> it needs to be. So now we're getting all the cladding on, we can actually see how sturdy they are. Um, they make great storage boxes. Once the cladding's on, there will be a trim that goes round, but we're not going to put that on until um, we've laid our floor. Um, really just so the floor can go underneath that trim yes reason why there's a gap at the bottom of uh, this side where it's the front of the chair is because we've got like a raised deck a step what the table goes on um, so we can have our seats raised higher and because the step goes up to the chair we didn't really need to put the tongue and groove all the way to the bottom let's see where the sun might leave Let's see where the sun might leave Waking up to a brand new day In between your sheets Breaking out in the best of ways And I'm back again on the street
so i think we'll leave it there now this week because this um episode is going on a bit and we'll continue the dinette next week stay safe and see you all next week <laughs>